And speaking of tariff talk, uh, things have changed since last week, since the last hour, since last minute, since we got online, since right now. Um, so this is the thing that was getting tossed around. Clarification of exemptions under Executive Order 14257 of April 2nd, 2025, as amended. So a uh, little bit of a recap. Uh, at first it was, okay, everything's going to be tariffed 125%. Then... No, that was not the first thing. The first no, what thing was the first was, thing? The first thing was the 20 percent and then it was 25 percent 2025 then one and then it became i think 125 125 okay or maybe it was 85 and then and then there and then there was things that could be stacked up from the initial one and then the other one well it was 125 and then the 20 percent stacked on top yeah and then after that and there's still a 10 percent flat on, on everything flat on top of that yeah, yeah. Ah. no 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 for every other country yeah um i don't know why i would get these things confused yeah and so uh the Thing that happened uh, on Sunday was, um, I guess we're going to call this like you know the Apple exemption. Yeah. It's like basically everything that's computers. Mm -hmm. that, that covers almost everything. So there's exemptions for that, but it doesn't get you to zero. It just gets you to 45, 20. It's either 20 or 45. Yeah. It's unclear. Yeah. And everyone's going to classify everything. It's like, oh, look, a wooden toy. That must be a computer. So, you know, it's an abacus. So well, who, then you, know, you risk getting your entire... Exactly. Package destroyed so by customers. Who knows what's going to happen? So that's one of the changes. And then the other change, um, and this is our tariff talk for tonight, is um, some of the social bits and some of the social fallout. Because what I'm seeing is a lot of things in the electronics world, the shipping world, some people that have like shipping businesses that were um, very like, uh, what is this? What is this thing called? Web? Is this Web 2.0? I don't know what this is called. Whatever this is. This. This thing I, I, is I, I lost you like two months ago. What? Well, anyways, I've been yeah. watching. <laughs> yeah, okay. well, I've, just been, I've just been watching what's yes. been going on in this world. So here's some of the latest in Tariff Talk land. Yes. Um, in the news, you're seeing uh, the Chinese suppliers post up uh, TikTok videos. Now, this news is a little misleading. I want to break it down for everybody. Um, these are probably not... They're not real. Real. So, yeah, but just because you see something on TikTok... Yeah. Doesn't so, mean it's real. So here's what's probably happening. So if you're on TikTok, your For You page has these Chinese factories that are saying, look, buy direct from us. We're the ones who really make Nike. We make Lululemon. And um, buyer beware. So there's a couple things. One, it's probably not real. It could be counterfeits. But here's the other thing. The de minimis is coming. So for the factories that do make quite a bit of things, uh, the end of the de minimis is coming. Um, and Hong Kong is no longer shipping postal packages. That, start, that happened today. Yeah. So that means that if you are a factory and you're used to just giant orders, they may be trying to sell direct to get, you know, right now before the under $800 thing is over. Yeah. They could be doing that. But just basically, please do not buy things off a one-to-one -one seller anywhere, no matter what the app is. Just don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. You know, they're... Well, you know, it's your, just don't your do problem it. if you don't get it or you get something wrong. But, but don't do it right now. That's what I'm saying. Probably, there, probably, well, this is yeah, this is yeah. the time, you know. If you see that dress, or if you see interesting things like, oh, I really wanted to get, you know, some other shoes or something like I, that. I don't know if something ships just, before, but it's in May. Just wait a couple weeks is what I'm saying. Yeah, it is so chaotic out there. That's when a lot of people who uh, maybe through malice or just incompetence will probably not get you the thing you think you're going to get. So, anyways, that's, that's always been true. It's more true. It's multiple. Well, there's definitely the desire. To, look, it's it's the dumping thing. There's like yeah. you have inventory, you got to get rid of it. So, so that's the that that that's people in China. They're uh, you know saying things on. It's also demoralizing. There's some of them out there, and they're like, "Hey, America, you can't make anything." So, you know, every it's who is this? Psych, psych, uh, psych ops. What did they say? What did it? Psyops. Psyops. Yeah. Or the, what's the other one? So, um, what you also see is. Uh, there's a little bit of dunking. So this is the general consul of uh, China for Indonesia, and they're and they're uh, saying accusing China is business, buying China is life, and they're they're showing that the clothing that I guess uh, the people at the White House have uh, that was made in China, and then yeah. this person is so my for my for you page is only filled with Chinese manufacturers trying to uh, sell directly to Americans. Um, they think that that's funny, but this other person says, can't tell if people think this is real Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks are made in Germany. You can see the videos of their factory on YouTube. So I thought this was a good example. There's a video of someone saying, oh, if you want to get Birkenstocks direct from factory, buy them from us in China. Yeah. They're not made in China. 
Well, neither is Lululemon, apparently. Well, uh, what? The, the Lululemon doesn't make stuff in... Actually, a lot of clothing these days is not made in, in China. Yeah. And so, high-end brands. And so there's companies getting out yeah. ahead of it. They're saying, these things that you're seeing are not ours. Yeah. We don't make it at all. Yeah. And um, I thought that was interesting. Yeah. So the other, the other thing that uh, came up is uh, people are starting to get the bills. So this I didn't really quite understand. This is someone... He's the CEO of Ship Hero. And he said he got hit with his 20% tariff. Uh, and then he got duty. And then altogether, he says, the product isn't worth selling with 145% tariff. So despite selling over a million of the SKU in my tiny e-com business and customers being fairly uh, happy, I will be discontinuing this product. It looks like it's a uh, like kids' playground gym equipment. So he's gym saying, playground yeah. exercise equipment. So okay. he's saying, yeah, that's going to get tariffed at the full amount. So he's saying that he's like, I'm not going to sell that. So I'm just like interested, like what's happening, like the what parts of gym equipment is made in the USA? Not a lot. We um, we bought some playground equipment. And I looked, there was nothing that was made in the USA that... Uh, the it, wood was sourced from China. Yeah, it wasn't, like, nothing was 100% USA. It's actually, it may be yeah. impossible, so curious. And then here's the um, uh, signaling that's coming in from the world right now, because why is the economy maybe not doing so great? Well, uh, the U.S. importers are saying that there's uh, less uh, freight ships. Some were canceled because I think people just stopped the bleeding, but freight company HLS recorded a total of 80 canceled sailings out of China. Um, and some and one of, sailing is, you know, a yeah. couple hundred containers. Yeah. And, and usually companies, you know, spend a lot to make sure their container is full. Yeah. And so, you know, th these are getting, it's getting more confusing and misquoted, but this is a summary from CNBC. China now faces up to 245% tariff on imports to the U.S., White House said on Tuesday. Although that excludes several electronic devices after Trump's latest tariff exemption, Beijing said last week, raised its levies on the U.S. to 125%. There's not exemptions on those things. There is still tariffs on it, and it's a little unclear. Well, no, 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 wait, wait. You say this, that. There, yeah, I know. There, I have a lot of this. Don't, don't say that because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be confusing. Yeah. There it's going to confuse you. There is, there is still exemptions on some electronic yeah. HTS codes. Yes. Those seem to be exempt from the retaliatory tariffs, and so those are going to be either 20 or 45 percent that's a little unclear because it's not clear which is what is retaliatory the words you just said was what i meant to say right so there are still exclusions as of now it could have changed um they don't include gym equipment it doesn't include clothing what i was it trying to include, say there's no zero there's no zero no there's no zero from any country it's still 10 percent. there's no country. zero i got i got i had stuff coming in from the uk it's tariff yeah. to 10 percent um you know what's interesting i got a um it's not a Kickstarter. It was like a pre-order thing, and they shipped it uh, early because they wanted to get it in before. Yeah. They, they probably kind of shipped amazing. the U.S. They probably shipped the U.S. Okay, and then one of my little gripes okay. was, uh, and this is just, you know, it's not a gripe. It's just like, I hope to get out of, ahead of this sooner rather than later. Um, Kickstarter did, did do a really big post today about what happens if you have tariffs and you're doing a Kickstarter. But that's what kind of said like, eh, hey, we don't know. It's, it was really hand wavy. Here's the issue I have though. Thanks, we kind of said nothing. Here's the issue I have. I think it's a very general helpful thing. But at the end of the article, uh, after final thoughts, and it's just because it's me and this is how like I read sometimes bottom to top before I go because I have to sometimes skim and I just get a quick idea of like all the things that are there. So I started at the bottom and I'm just like, why does it have a different company at the bottom? And why is there an ad? So the person who wrote the ad is director of marketing at Fullright. And then the ad says, or the thing that in, that's in there that's on Kickstarter is Fullright is the company that does the Kickstarter for uh, fulfillment for creators like you since 2010, if you want to quote blah, blah, blah. So I think they should have disclosed that in the very beginning, personally, because there is advice but if you don't know what to do and you're a little unsure, I just think that Kickstarter of all places should just have like a, any type of disclosure, like how did this come about? It, it's, it's getting a little grifty. It, I don't know if it's grifty or not, but you know what could have been cool is, hey, this is one of our partners. They're knee deep in this with all of their customers. Um, they're doing this article for free. Yeah. But we in, in, in thanking them, we're just going to put the little thing at the bottom. Yeah. But no money was exchanged for this. I, I think that yeah. would have been easier. 
Yeah, I basically think any any Kickstarter that hasn't been fulfilled is they probably will have yeah, to cancel. Yeah, but but I just I just I don't think see any way I just it. think like right now because there's so much um, opaqueness out there, we can all be more transparent. Anyways, yeah. I, cool they put it on there. Um, keep keep at it, Kickstarter. Um, anyways, 